Okay, now it's your turn. Name that rhythm. Okay, how did you do? If you guessed that it was a normal sinus rhythm, you'd be correct. Let's take a look. It's not the same as the other rhythm that we had last time. First, we're going to see if all our R to R complexes are even. That looks to be. That looks to be. So we see that our R complexes are regularly regular, which is always a good thing. We notice also that there is a P for every QRS complex and a QRS complex for every P. And that's what we want because the P waves originate where? In the sinoatrial node, right? That's where the heart starts to depolarize. So in looking at this, we're inspecting the, um, the P waves. The P waves look normal. They look even. They look regular. They're not too, too peaked or too rounded. So the, the rhythm itself, uh, the strip, shares a uh, commonalities. Now the next thing we need to do is to measure uh, to make sure that all of our values are within the normal range, right? So let's count the heart rate first. Let's line up our calibers between two of the R peaks like this, and let's bring them down to a nice vertical line. How many boxes do we have? Well, it looks to be about four boxes. So four boxes into 300 is 75, which would mean 15 into, or 25, 5, 10, 15, 20 boxes into 1500 would be 75. So our heart rate is 75. And let's take a look at our QRS complex. So line it up on the Q and bring it to the S. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's bring it so it's lined up with the S. So that's our QRS. We'll bring it down to a vertical line and count the boxes. So we've got about three, approximately three boxes. So we've got approximately 0 0.12 seconds, maybe a little less, so that works out. Let's measure our PR interval, shall we? So our PR interval, we're going to go peak to peak, right? So we're going to open our calipers a little bit. And we said PR was between what? 0 0.12 to 0 0.20. Let's take our calipers, line them up on another vertical line. And we've got about four little boxes, which would put us at 0 0.16 seconds, so that works out. Now let's measure our QT segment. Let's place it on the Q. And let's move it all the way over to where the T just about hits the horizontal, right about there. And then we'll take our calipers again and place them on a vertical line so it's easier to measure. Okay, so our QT seems a little narrow. Let's try that again. Q, T. It's okay if you're off a little bit. That, that's not um, unusual actually as long as we don't have any gross errors. And we're about 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02 is 0 0.40. So even if we were off a box or two, it would still be within the normal range. So we can interpret this as a normal sinus rhythm. Hopefully you did as well.